chat. Today we're here at Alvea Sanctuary, and I'm going to show you around. And my guest today is Maya. Hello, everybody. Ah! Through the door. Ah! Oh, shit, ah! they can still hear us. <laughs> I forgot we were, we're loud, though. <laughs> You're like, why are you punching the wall? Chat, today what we're going to be doing is uh, we're here at Alvea Sanctuary. Uh, it took me damn near an hour to get here. Stand by. I'm standing. It's been a long time since me and me and Maya did a stream together. Usually I learn a lot whenever I'm streaming with Maya. The last time I learned about uh, ladies and how they function. I didn't remember anything, but I did learn and it made for a good YouTube video. That's so, knows how to use a diva cup. Uh, use a DSLR? Diva cup. Oh, uh, diva cup. What was the diva? Oh, oh yeah, that was, that's weird. You have no idea what I'm talking about. I forgot about that. I kind of I kind of blocked that out of my memory. All right, so welcome to Alveus, everybody. Okay. Uh, we're going to go down to the Parrots. S-Man's going to meet the Parrots. Parrots Hilton? If you had a hotel for Parrots, you'd call it the Parrots Hilton. That's really good. It's really clever. Um, and... Can I touch this goat? You could try. Hello. That's Beetle. I think she got jealous. Would you also like a touch? <laughs> Don't try to pet her. Whenever they make noises, what are they trying to communicate? It depends. They make lots of different noises. You guys, this was the first enclosure that was put up here at Alves. S-Fan has seen it, but has never entered it. Is that correct? Oh, I have not actually entered this Okay, we are going to enter this enclosure. We have four parrots in here, and I'm going to introduce you to all of them. Most of them, two of them don't like anybody, basically, and one of them only likes women. So. How does it know if you're a woman? Good That's one. a good question. Do men and women smell different? I don't is know. Is this hot? Yeah, it is. Don't let the goat in here. Oh, okay. Door closed. Dude, it's crazy that roosters actually sound like that because that sounds like <laughs> it sounds like a default like a noise. Soundboard, yeah. Yeah. Siren. Oh, hello. Woo! Guys, this is hello. Siren. Hello. Hello. That's so nice. Wait, so she hates men? Yeah. Um, Can I feed her? No, I think she'll bite you. Oh, hey, really? you, can give her, you can give her this. If it Come bites on. me, will I die? No. Siren. That's nice. Oh, look, That's Siren. Good. Hello. Yay. Oh, look at her, look at her, look at her. She, she de-shelled it. Kind of crazy, right? Wow, she knows They're very do handy. They're very good at ripping stuff up. Um, we have the parrots to talk about the pet trade because a lot of people think they want them as pets. Turns out they're like awful pets. Yeah. And they're so loud and they chew through wood and they bite and they cause hearing loss. And Wait, hearing loss for humans? Yeah, they can scream really loud. Really? Yeah, but she can also sing. She likes singing happy birthday. Can you sing happy birthday? Happy birthday. That was not happening. Yes, it was. Wait, what did she say? Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> 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 birthday. <Yeah. laughs> what is so funny? It's like, well, uh... <laughs> Chad, did that sound like happy birthday, yes or no? Is that happy birthday? Time. One more time. Happy birthday. She's saying go away. No, she's saying birthday. Go away. Birthday. <laughs> birthday. <laughs> birthday. <laughs> Incredible. Uh, that was actually good. That's pretty good. Esmond, maybe if you sing, she'll sing. Okay. Can you sing? <coughs> <laughs> Nothing's gonna change my love for you. You know I never know how much I love you. You never, never can be true. You never know how much I love you. That was really nice, you guys. Thank good you. job. Thank you. Wow. Sorry, that's so good. Birthday! Birthday! <laughs> she's, birthday. she's like, hell yeah, I'm just getting food every time she's birthday. Is that funny? Birthday! Rest and give her another one. Okay. Hey. Siren! Hey, hey! <laughs> See, she likes me more, she likes me more. Um, that is Mia, she's an African gray. Mia. Okay, let me show you guys something, check this out. Here's an example, okay, so we've recently repainted, but you see how all this wood is like gone, chewed yeah. off? That's the little birds that can do this. They, Wait, these two really? that you just met, yeah, they chew through wood. These birds that are much larger, they did this. Dude, these these so that, parrots? Yeah, that was like a three by three foot platform. Oh my and gosh. They just ripped it up. Did um, they just get bored and they just start biting away? Yeah, and they can hi, all right, stay away from these ones. Uh 
They can scream louder than an ambulance, so it can cause hearing loss. These guys lived like 60, 70 years. Dude, these, these look like, when you think of parrots, like they look like this. Yeah. Like the cartoon parrot, this is the cartoon parrot, you Siren's know? Siren's talking. Okay, yo, it should go away. Siren, do you have something to say? Right when, you're, when you start paying attention to them, they give you nothing. Mm. When you're not paying attention to them, she never stops. Yeah, true. It's like having a toddler for 60 to 70 years that can chew through wood and rip your skin open and break your fingers. Mm. I had, I, and cause hearing loss. So, so you know, they say the two-year-olds, or they call them the terrible twos. Exactly. Because they, because babies or like two-year-old kids, they're like just walking around trying to find like the most dangerous situation to possibly put themselves mm -hmm. in. That's why this one was surrendered as a pet. This is Miley. Tico was dropped off in a box outside of an SPCA in California. What? You want to see how strong their beaks are? Yeah. You want to try to crack this nut? Yeah. You honestly, you might be able to actually. How many do you have? Here, this is for you. Wait, 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 wait. Ready? Okay. Set. She's even gonna leave. She's gonna, she's gonna go do it over there because she's really cocky. Come on, believe. Do you have another one? Nope, that's it. You gotta crack the. Oh, you lost. What the frick? You lost really bad. Oh, Good job. I broke it. Yeah. <laughs> what, did you think you weren't gonna break it? Well, I thought maybe it would survive. <laughs> you want some? Anyway, uh, their beaks are really strong. I don't know if you guys got a good look at Miley there. You sing, <laughs> yo ho. Happy birthday. <laughs> so which one of these is faster at flying? I bet they're about the same. Mia maybe like slightly. Huh? Which one of these is smarter? Like, if they were to do standardized testing, which bird is smarter? Mia, um, from what they've stu they've done more studies on African greys than, like, any other parrot species. They're supposed to have the widest vocabulary or, like, ability to memorize words. Siren oh, yeah. talks way more than Mia does. Yeah. Mia makes a wide variety of noises. Really? Um, that are, like, actual, like, actually sound like the noise. Like, she'll do, like, a backup beeper. She'll do all the birds in the area. Really? She has a really good pro. Um, she says hello too. Siren just never stops, but it's mostly just like. So, I, so this one talks a lot, and then this one just is is uh, confidence is shot because somebody else is always talking. Maybe I mean she talks less, but when she talks, it's like more enunciated. It's it's like. Can you can you make them not talk? If Siren halt. Us, if both of us stop talking and looked at her, she might stop. She really just likes talking while I'm talking. how parrots are. Anyway. Well, they're, kind of, they're kind of like chat. Yeah, kind of. Parrots are kind of like chat. Just like whatever you say, then they just say it back. <laughs> All right. Like, Wide hardo. Wide hardo. Wide hardo. Is, she making, is that an error noise? No, she just... Arr. I don't know what it is. Wide hardo. Wide hardo. It's his air noise. What about you, African Grey? Mia? Mia Bird. Mia Wide learned her old owner's phone number. Because, That's hilarious. Because she kept flying away. And so she taught her phone number so she could say it. And then when she told me that, she was like, oh, it's so cool. She knows my number. And I was like, I got live cams. And I was like, that's not cool. Yeah. <laughs> That's not cool. But she has yet to dox her old owner. Because she's so nice. <laughs> Isn't that so annoying? Dude, as soon as you're talking, you're talking. It's actually unreal. Do you want to see the chickens? Yeah. Okay. I was going to skip them, but you can go in there. Chat, let's see if Maya can open this. Loser. Take her two tries. Hi. Welcome to the chicken coop. Oh my gosh, it's nice and cool in here. Yeah, it's nice. Um, they're shade, they have fans, they have a little ice bath. So which one's the alpha chicken? Uh, this one. We have one male, his name is Oliver, he's a rooster. You want to feed him some mealworms? Mealworms are disgusting. Oh, no, no, I don't want to touch. S-band! No, I don't want to touch. s -band. No, you know what's crazy? One time I touched mealworms, and my hand got itchy afterwards. So I was, I was, I'm scared I'm allergic to them, actually.
these are the chickens. Oliver, I got at a feed store for $5 because he was a reject rooster. This is Oliver, he's a genius. Oliver, what is the capital of Peru? What is it? Huh. Man, a few words. He doesn't know. Sometimes the smartest ones say the least. Um, and then... Happy birthday! They don't do that. Oh. And then that's Henrique, and this is Nugget. Um, Henrique? Yeah. Nice. Like Enrique, but... Like is a hen? Yeah. Wait, but a hen is a girl. Uh, what? Isn't a hen a girl chicken? Uh, yeah. So... She's a girl. Enrique is a boy's name. Okay. So wouldn't it be Henrika? Enrica is not a name. Yeah, it is. Uh-uh. It is now. Anyway, these are the chickens. Yeah, you could have called her you could have called her Henrietta. I have a Henrietta. Oh. We have one though, Henry. Wait, where's Henrietta? At my house. Oh. She's retired. Ooh. Yeah. Hey, what is a Cornish hen? Someone in chat says Cornish hen. I don't know what that is. Isn't that a food? It sounds like food. The chickens don't have Netflix and TikTok. I'm sorry. Do you think if you put a movie on the like a TV, the animal can watch it and like uh, comprehend what's going on? It depends on the animal. Our marmosets love Netflix. They have an iPad. Really? Yeah. Can they pick their own movies? Uh, no. We put we put on like uh, Trash Truck and Thomas the Tank Engine, Coco Melon. Really? Man. Yeah. That's crazy. Stompy! A chicken! What's up, Stompy? So, hello. Stompy looks like a dinosaur. Stompy is a dinosaur. Open the door. Okay, okay, thank you for that, Stompy. Just taking a fat dump right here. <laughs> really? This is Stompy. Have you ever heard the phrase, don't shit where you eat, Stompy? Stompy's an emu. And he likes hugs, and S-Fan's gonna give him a nice big hug. He's like, this is so nice. He's such a cute. Get it? Yeah. Okay. It closed his eyes. Did I, I hug him? Yeah. Hi. Hi. Did I just hug him? Yeah. Hi. Oh. Wait, stop that's me. nice. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> that was a good hug, us man. Thank you. Well done. Now show him your hat. He I think he wants it. He wants to see it. Show it to him. Stompy? You see my hat? What do you think? It's not food. Yum yum. Can I smell it? Stompy's the first ambassador we got here. His uh, parents didn't sit on his egg, so he was incubated in captivity in California at a zoo, and then they sent him here. Really? Yeah. Stompy ate one of my rings. Do you remember that? Oh. I was at the house when that happened. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Did you ever find it? Yes, yeah, this one. <laughs> Poop on I swear. The ring. Check this out. Oh, Stompy no, ate this is my hair. Rings. Stompy's trying to eat my hair. Yeah, he likes curls. Sorry, I should tell oh. you um, Stompy ate this ring um, when he was 16 days old, um, and he did not pass it. It was it was taken out via endoscopy. Do you stick tiny your hand camera. in there? They stick their they stick a tiny camera in there with a little. From here, or from here. Out. Here. Really? Yeah. Do they do they take like a metal detector and find where it is? They did an X-ray. Oh, is that why it's bent? Maybe. I don't know. But yeah, the the vet gave it back to me in like a little vial. He was like, I got it. And then I said, okay. And then I disinfected it and I still wear it because I like it. It still stinks. It doesn't stink. Okay. Stand there, wait for the donkey to come to you. He's a little shy. Okay. But go, I do go it, down the to the horse can't see, right? Go down to where it's flat. No, he's distracted right now. Okay, don't be weird about it. You see, you're being weird about it now. He's like, what the hell? Okay, hold it straight out. Guys, this is, this is big. This is Serrano. Serrano was rescued from an equine rescue in Central Texas. He was going to a feedlot to be slaughtered um, either for pet food like cat kibble dog kibble or for meat or good job here um, oh. or because they still slaughter five million donkeys a year five million donkeys a year for traditional medicine so they'll boil donkey hide and make this gelatin um, and they think it's a cure-all for anemia blood circulation like reproduction reproduction a bunch of stuff um, but five million donkeys a year, they boil uh, their hides for this gelatin. It's called Ijao. And so a lot of donkeys from the U.S. are now exported to meet that demand. Here you go. You guys are friends. It's great. Peach! Dude, you need to teach these guys how to use the toilet. 
they're like animals out here. It's ridiculous. The other thing about that five million number, you guys, is okay, oh wow, he doesn't usually have people touch him. Really? Um, the other thing about that is about twenty percent of those donkeys die in transport. So we got five million really? a year, twenty percent dying in transport for no reason. It's pretty crazy. What do you think, Stomp? Wow, he's getting so many carrots. Aww. Oh my God, friend, Serrano. Here you go, this is the last one. Yeah, I think animals like me. He does like you. That's great. Uh, Bonnie's cat claimed me as its owner. Really? It just follows me around the whole house all day. Cute. I go stream and it just sits behind me until Ooh. I'm done streaming, and then I go go to bed, and then she comes and waits outside my door. Aww. Until I let her in. Wait. Oh my God, he really likes you, Ashton. Aww. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm an ass just like you. Yeah. Over here, we have a pooping baby cow. Hello, baby cow. S band. Hello. This is Winnie the Moo. Winnie the Moo. Hello, She's Winnie. She's about a year and a half old. She's Aww. a red Angus cow, beef cow. I got her off of a Aww. beef operation in Oklahoma. Uh, she is past the point of where she would be slaughtered for beef. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, nice. So you can let her free. Yeah. <laughs> um, but Red Angus, you've seen like Angus beef in the grocery yeah, store. Yeah, yeah, It's marketed the same. So it's Red Angus, Black Angus, really? Angus beef. And so, yeah, we, we obviously have her to talk about the beef industry. In general, you guys eat less beef. We uh, produce it at a completely unsustainable rate. We're going to kill our planet just by consuming too much beef. I've been, e I've been eating a lot of salad lately. Yay! Winnie. But salad has chicken in it. That's but, okay. But chicken has way... Produce... That poultry has way less emissions than beef. Like, really? so much lower. Well, they, I, I heard a lot of emissions. Don't they fart a lot? Like methane? Yes. Is that true? Farting and burping. They produce really? methane. Winnie's a ruminant, which means she has four stomachs, and she produces methane as a byproduct of ruminating. Um, and then, and methane is a greenhouse gas. So she'll fart and burp it out, and then it's a greenhouse gas, and then global warming, and that's why it's so hot outside. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah. Because it's super hot in the Texas right now. You know what's funny? I remember being in second grade, and we were learning about global warming. And I told my teacher, and I said, global warming don't make no damn sense. I told her that. Those words, exactly. I said, okay. global warming doesn't make sense. Okay. And she said, why? And I said, you just taught us about equilibrium. So if it gets hotter, doesn't it also get colder? And she was like, well, that's not what the scientists say. Fast forward 20 years. Guess what? Guess who was right? That's right, Miss Mack. Wow, oh my god, dogs. This fan is a genius. Anyway, that sounded like a real name, that's crazy. Um, s fan? Yeah. Thanks. When it comes to eating animal products, if you're thinking from an environmental perspective, eating poultry, way less of a footprint than eating beef. Do you want to see Stompy in her splash pad? Splash pad? Yeah. Stompy loves splash Is that pad. this? No, it's his pool. Oh, Stompy, you want to show off your splash pad? Oh, he knows. Ooh. He loves his splash pad. It takes a second to turn on standby. So so the water comes out from all the sides? From the sides, yeah. Ooh. And he just splash plays pad. in the water? Yeah. Wait, you have monkeys? Yeah, man. <gasps> you Sick. You don't keep up with me at all. But like, uh, Wait, this is cool. I should get one of these. You want to go in there? Yeah. You can get in with Stompy if you want. It's your socks, bro. Ew. Ew, you're just okay with that? This is amazing. Hi. I can't believe you're okay with that. It's so what? gnarly. Dude, you're just gonna have wet socks for the rest of the stream. It's okay. It's hot. <sighs> <sighs> Who do you think I am, Grayson? Why are you trying to punch me in the liver? Oh, dude, that's so funny. We walk around, we just beat, beat up Grayson all day now. What? Well, he deserves it. Dude, I love Grayson. He's one of my favorite people in Austin. I only see him like once, twice a year, but I love Grayson. <laughs> me too. Oh. Dude, Grayson is like a night, night, like a night bird. Yeah, that's what I've night that's owl. heard. Hello. This is Pee-wee. Hello, Pee-wee. Can I pet you? You want to give him a pistachio? Hi. And that's Tripper. Hello, Tripper. She him after, um... Go. Three's Company? No, uh... She's short and she runs in between your legs and you oh. trip over her. It's an attack. Hello. Gentlemen. So this is... Papa and Momo. Can I hold them? Uh, if they jump on you, that's fine, but they probably won't. <laughs> Wait, this room is sick. Kind of dope, right? <laughs> what? Um, this is better than my room. Yeah, this one's Appa. Uh, he's a common marmoset. He has white tufts on his ears, 
And then this is Momo. He's a black tufted marmoset. He has Hello, marmoset. Momo. Momo has had more than half of his teeth removed because of dental disease. Oh. Um, it's like if you feed a kid, just like a, only Fruit Loops or something, their teeth rot out. Really? It's like that, yeah. Hello, can I have this? No, don't take anything from a monkey. Oh, really? Yeah. They're really important for their natural habitat. These are Brazilian monkeys. Oh, come to Brazil. They're seed dispersers, so their job is to eat fruits and stuff and then swing around the forest and poop everywhere. Oh, really? And it helps with forest regrowth, but that's really awful for... Oh, I don't know if you've seen a hat like that before. Oh, oh you just bit me. Okay. Well, that's, <laughs> yeah, it probably didn't taste very good. <laughs> He's like, is this food? <laughs> um, it's like, surely I didn't buy hard enough. So it helps with forest regrowth. He just peed on that. Um, Ew. Not on your hand oh. on that. Silicone. Oh, God. Hey. Hi. I don't think he's ever seen a hat like that before. So oh, really? Like, Hoppa, what is that? Hi. Who is that? Hoppa, what? What? Wait, oh. what? <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> what? What are you showing him? Baldur's Gate. Oh, hello. So, lean over here and try to come... Yeah. Oh, you want to watch it here? Okay, never mind. Papa, are you going to bite them? Hello. What, is, what would this be called? A shelter? An enclosure. An enclosure. Yeah. We're going up to the crow enclosure. Warning, the crows are pretty cautious. You're going to have to take your hat off for sure. Oh, um, I bet crows love this hat. I don't think so. Hi. The homies. Ah. Is that Abbott? That's Abbott. Ah. A friend. Hi, buddy. Yeah, Abbott. Oh, he's drooling. Yeah. He's drooling a little bit. What's the other one's names? Coconut. Coconut will not come down. Come over here. Hey. Put your arm up. Hey, Abby. Hello. Good boy. That is Abbott. Abbott is an American crow. He was uh, born in the wild here in Central Texas. Blown out of the nest as a baby. Pick me, pick me. Um, was raised by people, and he imprinted on people. So if you find a wild bird, don't raise it, because it'll end up like this, dependent on people for food um, and oh. water and what to be afraid of and where to migrate to and who to breed with and how to act. And so he's non-releasable for that reason. It's an irreversible change that happens in the brain of birds. This sucks. When they're babies. Oh. Um, <laughs> Give me that. If you find a wild baby bird, uh, call a wildlife rehab center. You can look them up. There's probably one in your area. So do they do they, they rehab them to go to go back out in the wild, yeah. like, properly? They'll raise them without imprinting them, is the ideal, and then release them into the wild. But Abbott is non-releasable because he's imprinted. So so look at this. They have, like, is that normal? The, the back of his head is like, oh. He picks them. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It's not so bad though. Come yeah, you can, you can see like his like neck, like uh. He's got a little bald spot. Like his skin, yeah. So you can show him that and hold your arm up. Nice! Wow. I'm a bird master. Bird trainer. Good boy. Good boy! Wow. So do you have like very rough, like callous hands from like like gauntlets built Does in? It hurt you? No, but I'm just wondering if like over the years, like you develop like. They're a little bit sharp, you see? They're a little sharp, a little heavy. You ever dual wield them? Coconut, that was so brave. No, I don't. That was so brave. I can't believe I... That was an incredible throw. I just want to put that out there. I never... I don't usually throw that well. Wait, you threw it? You caught it in there? You can catch it. You really? Whoa, oh, my bad. All right, ready? <laughs> oh, my gosh! He caught it! No way! Come what on. the frick? Can you mm. spray it with this? <laughs> Chat, you want to be sprayed with this? It's hot. Oh. Did you make it there? Okay. Um, it's rose water. It's good for the skin. Here's the foxes. Oh, I bet foxes are sick. They are sick. They're very shy. Really? So we gotta we gotta move a little slow in here. Be a little chill. Okay. Um. We got the foxes from a zoo in California. One of them was born in the wild, orphaned in the wild, raised by humans, non-releasable. The other, this one, was a confiscation from the illegal pet trade by the California Department of Fish and Wildlife. So somebody bought him, tried to make him a pet. Especially so, as Cinderella. 
Nice. Yeah, cutie rays. Hearts for cutie. Very That's good. This one. So they're American red boxes. That is Finn. He's not red. He's gray. Um, hey, hey, behind the camera, buddy. Here you go. Oh, yummy. Chicken. He was bred for the pet trade, so they breed them lots of different colors oh um, because people want them to look more like a dog, ironically, um, to have them in their homes. So this mm -hmm. will naturally occur in the wild, this color, but it's pretty rare. Yeah. Um, but he was bred like this in captivity. You that's not good. Or is that good or bad? It sounds like bad. Bad. Okay. Uh, foxes are also not pets. Yeah. They like being outside. It's not good for their welfare. He has... Hey, look. Oh, is he really scary? Hi. Finn, look. Hi, I have food. So, tuck your thumb. Oh. <laughs> you little scared. Who is that? I just fed this Finn more than I've ever fed Finn in my life. Big man, big hat, huh? It's F-E-N-N, -N, if that makes it any better. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> Yummy chicken. Hi. Mmm. Like that pen? I don't think he'll let me pen him. No, he won't. Oh, I feel so bad. He's like, he like recoils every time he eats because he's like, he's like scared like I'm going to like, like he's, yeah. like, what's, he's like, what's the catch? Yeah. So, uh, despite Finn being born and raised in captivity, foxes are just not like dogs. Like, they're yeah. not gonna, yeah, um, they're way more cautious because they're wild animals and it's in their blood. They like being outside. They like having this space. It's just really unfair to put them inside of a house. Also, um, they're seed dispersers as well. So they're omnivores. They'll eat fruits and stuff, run around the forest, poop everywhere to help uh, with forest regrowth. And they scent post, which is marking. So any new thing you put in here, they will pee on, they will poop on, um, and they'll do that in your house, too. Did you know in Japanese, foxes kitsune? Yeah. I, I, yeah. I'm half Japanese. Um, Very good. The other reason we have these foxes uh, is to teach people about the fur trade. Fur is less popular than it used to be, um, but... The fur trade is super gnarly because it doesn't really matter. It's not like meat is affected. The quality of meat is affected by how stressed an animal is. But for fur, it doesn't matter how stressed the animal is. Um, it's just they want the pelt. And so to get a perfect pelt, one of the approved methods um, of slaughter in the fur trade is electrocution. But they'll do it through, like, they'll hang the fox upside down and do it through the mouth and the anus and so they'll send an electric oh, shock wow. all the way through the fox um, and that way fox dies but with no marks and so they get a perfect pelt oh my gosh um, that's horrible yeah it's crazy i looked up it's also crazy in texas like you can get a fox or a fur propagation permit for like 95 bucks it's like a page you just what? fill it out pay an application fee and then you can hunt foxes and kill them and sell their fur it's that's crazy. crazy yeah so the fur trade is super fucked up uh i Usually try to give people options of like, oh, do this instead. If you still want to, um, just like don't buy fur. <laughs> just don't wear fur. It's so never, what if I, if I wanna, never good. What should I get instead? They have faux fur. Um, I would not wear it as an influencer because I don't want people to see it and think it looks cool and think that it is fur. But as a normal person, I guess you can, you can wear that. What, what about like sheep, like wool? Wool is okay? I think that also depends. I haven't done much research on wool, but wool, assume, you don't what, have to kill a sheep to get wool. Yeah, I always assumed like the wool was good because maybe the sheep get hot and maybe they like shear them, so they're getting hot anyway, so they can be like nice and cool. Guys, I, but I don't know. Do you like his ASMR? Yeah, sheep. Uh, they shear sheep every year to get wool, and they mm. have to be sheared. We won't go over there because he'll get scared. But we do have another fox. His name is Reed. He is a more traditional look of, of your American red fox. Uh, and Ooh. he was born in the wild, but he was raised by humans. Um, and Looks like a TV fox. Take care of himself either. Yeah. Yeah. He's so so we can't get close to that one? He'll, he's too scared. He's, he's much more shy than Dennis. Mm. Sit. Very brave. <gasps> Very brave. No Sit. way. Okay. No Roll over. No. Oh, frick. Good job, buddy. Red Bull? We're also you know, humans, we're also animals. Yeah. It's wild. But we're like the alpha animal of the animal kingdom because we own the planet. Do you know there's more humans on planet Earth than any other animal? Um, no, it's not true. 
Have you seen the population in China? Uh-huh. And add it to the population in everywhere else? It's a lot. It's a big country. Guys, it's a bigger planet. When it comes to the education stuff, maybe just listen to me today. Maybe. You excited for football season? Oh, yeah. Do you want to come with me to a tailgate? Um, no. The last one we did was pretty scuffed. I'll do it off stream. What? Dude, no. I can't believe I flew to Alabama with you. That was fun, though. Stream. It was, it was, it was scuffed, but it was fun. It was fun. It was so stupid. s fan. what do you say? You go get a coffee off stream. Right now? No. I'm busy. Okay. Wait, wait, when? Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for learning. I really appreciate uh, you guys sticking sticking with it. I know I do a lot of education. I know that that part is kind of boring. Sorry. But I hope you learned, and I hope it wasn't too boring. I hope you learned a little bit and had fun. I actually had a blast Thank today. You. And again, chat, huge, huge, huge hearts in chat for Maya and for Alvea Sanctuary for doing this whole stream. Basically, entirely her plan. Everything was her plan. She even hooked it up with getting Flip and the... Uh, running the camera and stuff, so we, we were using all her IRL stuff too. So. I had a blast. I learned a lot. I think chat learned a lot today. I think Maya probably learned more than uh, all of us, actually. Combined. Combined. Yeah. That's about it. Uh, Goodbye. Bye, chat. Oh, I did want to also mention uh, before we go that we are going to.